This video is about multiplying monomials and I'll be working through several examples and making the important points as I go. So here's the first example up at the top. 2xy squared, that's one monomial, and we're multiplying it by 3xy cubed, that's another. And the thing to remember here is that everything is being multiplied. There's no addition or subtraction. And when there's exponents involved, like we see here, we just have to keep in mind what we know about exponents. Now, everything here is multiplied, so I can think of this as 2 times x times y squared times 3 times x times y cubed. And because in multiplication, the order doesn't matter, we say multiplication is commutative, because that is the case, I can rearrange all of those little things. And I'm going to arrange them like this. 2 times 3, that's the numbers there, obviously. And now let's look at the x's. I see an x and another x, so that's times x times x, and then I see this y squared and the y cubed. So I'll say times y squared times y cubed. And then we can combine these pieces as we see here. 2 times 3 gives me a 6. The x times x gives me an x squared. And the y squared times y cubed over here gives me a y to the fifth. And that's my answer, 6x squared y to the fifth. Now this next one, 4a squared b times negative 5a to the fourth b squared. Well, let's do the same thing. Let's rearrange it. Let's put the numbers first, 4 and negative 5. And I put the parentheses there to indicate multiplication so it doesn't end up looking like 4 minus 5. That times a squared times a to the fourth and times b and a b squared. And now I'll consolidate these pieces. The 4 times the negative 5 is a negative 20, and the a squared times a to the fourth is an a to the sixth, and the b times the b squared is a b cubed. So not too bad. And with a little bit of practice, you can take this intermediate step and do that in your head and go straight from here to here. Now let's get the next two examples. All right, in this one we have 3ax squared times 4a squared bx. So this will be equivalent to 3 times 4 times a times a squared times x squared, well I left out the b, let me put the b in there, times b times x squared times x. And the order doesn't really matter. I was just keeping things alphabetical there. If you write them in a different order, that's okay. The point is, each of the little pieces over here, the 3, the a, the x squared, the 4, the a squared, the b, and the x, all have to show up here. And over here, they're arranged in a way that's a little bit convenient. I can easily see over here that the 3 times 4 is going to give me a 12, and the a times a squared will give me an a cubed. And then I have this b right here all by himself, but he still needs to show up in the answer as a b. And the x squared times x gives me an x cubed. And this would be fairly typical to write your answer with the, the letters there in alphabetical order too. Although again, that's not required. And also, as I was saying before, uh, with just a little bit of practice, you can skip writing this step. And you can just look at these numbers and say 3 times 4 is going to give me the 12. And the a times the a squared will give me the a cubed. And the x squared times the x gives me an x cubed. And don't forget, forget about the b. Okay, let's look at the next one. 2xy squared, that's one thing, equals 2x squared. Now, in this one, it really is helpful to write in this intermediate step. I'm going to have 2xy squared, that's that piece, multiplied by this thing squared. So let's go ahead and take that and square it. And when I have two factors there, squared, two things that are in those parentheses, each of those things gets squared. So this is going to be times 2 squared 
times x squared, like that. And then I'm going to rearrange these pieces. Let's put the numbers here. This is a 2 times 2 squared. And then I have an x and an x squared and a y squared. And this is going to equal 8 times x cubed times y squared. And again, the point here in this one is not to forget your rules of exponents right here. This squared applies to both of the factors in that group. Okay, and we have one more. Three AB squared cubed, that thing cubed, times AB squared. So let's write this out. The first thing I'm going to do is take this and take each of those things and cube it. So I'm going to work out this 3ab squared to the power of 3. That's going to be 3 to the power of 3 times a to the power of 3 times b squared to the power of 3. And b squared to the power of 3 is b to the power of 6. Remember that when I have one exponent raised to another power, the exponents get multiplied, and the 2 times the 3 gives me a 6. So what I've written here is equivalent to this first monomial. Now in this second one, the a and the b are both getting squared. So the second one is equivalent to a squared, b squared. And now I'm going to rearrange these pieces. This could be written as the 3 cubed times the a cubed times the a squared. All I did was take these two pieces and put them next to each other. And then I have times b to the sixth times b squared. Now again, this is, this is a step right here that I would encourage you to do in your head. Um, write it out if it's helpful to you, but you can probably go straight from here to the final answer. The 3 cubed is 27, and then the a cubed times the a squared is a to the fifth, and the b to the 6th times b squared is b to the 8th. And that's it for now.